Satellites are objects, either natural or human-made, that orbit around a star, planet, even an asteroid. The moon is Earth's natural satellite. But there's lots of human-made satellites revolving around Earth, too. Find out more. It was Sir Isaac Newton, the scientist who saw an apple fall from a tree and realized that there must be a force at work, who identified that force as gravity. He thought up how humans could launch a satellite into space and how it could orbit around the Earth. Of course, it would take another 200 years before the first human-made satellite would actually orbit the Earth. Today, a new moon is in the sky, a 23-inch metal sphere placed in orbit by a Russian rocket. The Sputnik satellite spent 22 days in orbit, studying the density of the Earth's upper atmosphere. The fact that Russia got a satellite into space first motivated the United States to establish NASA and build its own satellite. But it didn't always go exactly as planned. But by January of 1958, U.S. scientists had figured it out. Explorer is in orbit, broadcasting to the world its coded scientific data. Explorer 1 became the United States' first satellite. Since then, humans from many countries have launched more than 5,000 satellites around Earth. Most satellites have the same basic parts. A frame or bus, the main body of the satellite. A power source, usually a solar panel or batteries thrusters to help it move, an antenna that can send signals back and forth, a computer that runs the satellite, and some scientific instruments like cameras or sensors. Human-made satellites range in size from the International Space Station, which is the size of a small house, to satellites the size of a loaf of bread. Satellites are usually sent into space on top of a rocket. Some are launched from very high-flying airplanes. Satellites stay in orbit around Earth by balancing two effects, centrifugal force and gravity. The satellite gets a boost of speed that drives it into orbit. Now without gravity, the satellite would continue to travel in a straight line away from Earth. That's the centrifugal force. But gravity keeps it from flying away, making it circle the Earth instead. Natural satellites like the Moon travel in an elliptical orbit, but rocket scientists usually launch satellites into a circular orbit. There are lots of different types of satellites. There are communication satellites that send radio, TV, and telephone signals all over the world. There are 30 Global Positioning System satellites, or GPS, that help all of us determine where we are on the Earth. There are safety satellites used to help find planes and ships in distress. And there are lots of different Earth science satellites that study how human activities impact the planet. They help farmers know when and where to plant crops. They help firefighters watch for fires. They help meteorologists track the weather. Many satellites help scientists study things like climate change. Exactly where a satellite orbits depends upon what job it's supposed to do. Satellites in low Earth orbit are relatively close. The International Space Station is in low Earth orbit, so it's easier for astronauts to come and go. Lots of satellites that study the Earth are at this altitude and are in a polar orbit. That is, they go around the poles instead of the equator. Satellites in a medium Earth orbit are a little further away from the ground. Like those in low Earth orbit, satellites at this level can travel on any path around the Earth. Geostationary satellites orbit at an even higher altitude. These satellites orbit west to east over the equator. Their speed is always the same as the Earth's rotation, so they're always in the same spot above the Earth. You'll often find communication satellites in a geostationary orbit. Human-made satellites don't just orbit the Earth, we have satellites orbiting other planets, too. With all these amazing human-made satellites, it's important to remember the most influential satellite is still the Moon. And remember, the Earth itself is a satellite of the Sun. But thanks to our human-made satellites, we can find our way around, communicate around the world, make even more accurate weather forecasts, gain a better understanding of the Earth, and explore what lies beyond our planet. If you want to learn more, head to the Science Trek website. You'll find facts, links, games, material for educators and parents, and much more. You'll find it all at sciencetrek.org. <laughs>